on a par three here. Uh, the yardage is 150 yards, but it plays a little bit uphill, uh, five yards uphill. So it's playing 155. We don't have a lot of wind in here. And for me, that's just a, a full seven iron. Uh, and the pin is in the middle of the green. So uh, you couldn't get a more green light sort of shot where you don't have much to worry about. Um, just put a good swing on it and hopefully you have a good birdie chance after you hit it. Well, we're up here on the green now and for having such a perfect number and the pin relatively in the middle of the green, I'm not 100% happy with this shot. I've left myself about a 20 footer, um, but every so-so uh, shot can be made up by a great putt. So let's hopefully get a good read on it and maybe sneak one in for a birdie. It's another left to rider, so it's probably going to break a, at least a couple of cups. So um, I'm again looking at my spots where I want to hit the putt. A par four here, it's a dog leg to the left. Um, it's not an overly long hole, uh, 380 yards. So I can play aggressive off the tee and try and cut a little bit off the corner, or I could um, play a little bit safe and hit the three wood. So I'll do both options. I feel like there's enough room out there, the rough isn't very long, um, so I'm gonna hit a driver. That'd, that'd be my choice um, on this hole, but we'll also play it with a three wood. been a little bit too aggressive there. We'll have to see if we get lucky. And now we'll try the three wood. Um, we're going to have to aim a little bit further to uh, the right because we can't carry the corner, but this is the safer shot. like the three wood better, it's in the middle of the fairway. Well, we're here where my driver ended up and uh, the gamble paid off. Uh, it, it caught the left edge of the fairway, so now we're sitting pretty. Um, We've got a pretty straightforward shot to the green. We've got a bunker to carry, but the pin's on a little bit, so it shouldn't really come into play. Um, the only concern is that the wind's right to left and the pin's cut on the left, so we have to be careful uh, not to let the wind take the ball too far left, so we're probably going to be aiming three or four yards right of the pin and just letting the wind bring it in. Um, the yardage I've got is 149, and for me that's right in between a 7-iron and an 8-iron. So I'm going to go uh, just with a little 7-iron on this shot. So not a bad shot. Um, it's just caught the left side of the, the green, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, one of the keys to hitting an in-between uh, club if you know I've taken the longer club hitting the seven iron instead of the eight is that I just grip down on the club a little bit 
and that takes three or four yards uh, off off it and you can just put on put on a normal swing uh, just a nice smooth swing if you grip down a little bit it takes a little bit of yardage off so it makes it easier um, than trying to fiddle with the speed of your swing. So we've made it up onto the green and uh, we're just left of the pin about 10 or 12 feet away. Uh, we've got a left to right putt and um, what I like to do when, I, when I've decided what the read of the putt is, is try and find some spots on the green to try and picture the curve of where you want the ball to be um, during the putt. So there's a couple of scuff marks on the green here and I'm just trying to um, putt it up around those and really get a good visual of what the putt's gonna do. I always like to have my putting strokes behind the ball so I'm, I'm looking at the line from here and then when I walk in, I just hit the putt. There's, there's no standing beside it and hitting your practice strokes. Just like that. Wish I could do that every time. <laughs>